Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to all my students out there. Great day students, I welcome you once again for another learning session, learning experience here in my YouTube channel and this time we'll be dealing with Mendelian Pattern of Inheritance. So lahat ng great day students, you are all welcome to watch this lesson. Okay, this may be your guide to answer your module, quarter 4 specifically. Okay, let's go and this time we'll be talking about heredity. Okay, so before we proceed, so it is very important that we know some terms that we'll be using in our discussion. And this is to unlock your confusion. Alright, so let us now begin. So in our module, heredity was being described or defined. So heredity is dated since ancient times. So people are convinced that offspring tend to resemble their parents' skin color, shape of face, height and many other traits when we say offspring okay that's your young or yung yung tatawag na mga anak or something like that okay so these traits can be passed down by their parents to their offspring from generation to generation that was their belief in the ancient times so um that all offspring may tend to resemble okay to the features of the parents for example um if you have round face or if you have this um, you have your blue eyes so that characteristics okay came from the parents okay? so that is the idea there that people are convinced that offspring tend to resemble their parents skin color shape of face height and many other traits so whatever structures that are gonna transfer lang, okay, from generation to generation or that's heredity or in Tagalog class, parang namamana. Okay, namamana na katangian. Okay. Now, let us uh, go um, okay, and discover the proponent of the lesson. And since we're talking about genetics um, in science, we always have to know who is the proponent or the one who proposed that idea or that concept. Alright, so in your module again, okay, Gregor von Mendel, is an Austrian monk and considered the father of genetics. He is the proponent of the study of genetics. Okay? He presented in experiments the nature of inheritance that was in 1866. Mendel used the garden pea plants, okay, which has scientific name of Pisum sativa, as his main specimen for his genetic experiments. So, um, let us discover later. Bakit pea plant? Diba? Bakit among among the plants that we know, why is it that he chose or why is it that he opted to use pea plant as his specimen for the experiments? So in in his experiments class, he found out that okay because uh, he used pea plant right. So he observed seven characteristics of pea plants. So mayroon palang seven characteristics of pea plants. So each characteristic had only two contrasting traits. So parang um si isang characteristic parang mayroon ng dalawang opposing yung parang magkaiba, contradicting o pag say contrasting contradicting features or characteristics. For example, number 1 is height. So pag height, okay, ang kanang contrasting characteristic lang ay could be tall or short, right? So the flower position along the stem, so mayroon din siyang two contrasting idea and then pod appearance pod color seed texture seed color flower color later on we'll be discovering or we will find out what are these two contrasting of uh, features okay, from this seven observable characteristics of the right okay let's proceed now Mendel studied seven P plant traits each with two contrasting character so you know mentioned ko kanina, for example for, for height so first we have tall and we have short and maybe for the seed color we have green and yellow so on so, 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 so what he did is he cross plants with each of the seven contrasting characters and started their offspring so once he cross so parang pinag mix na yun, okay so parang pinag combine na so in the form of fertilization or whatever so pinag cross niyon and then in a fertilize so we have here and then the result will be the offspring or 
Tag natin yung baby, something like that. Okay. So, so as I mentioned a while ago, so the pea plant has seven characteristics okay, with two contrasting um, characters. Alright, so we have, for the first one, we have seed shape. For the seed shape, we have spherical and wrinkle. For the seed color, we have two. We have yellow and green. So these are the contrasting character. For the pot shape, we have inflated and we have constricted. So look at the pea plant, right? And for the flower color, we have purple and white. And for the pot color, we have green and yellow. For the pot, yeah. And for the flower position, okay, look at that, guys. Um, in the slide, so you have eggshell and terminal, eggshell and terminal, and lastly for the stem height, of course, as I have said a while ago, we have tall and we have short. Do you get it? All right. So those are the seven characteristics of the pea plant with um, two contrasting characters. All right. So as you can see in the picture. Each of the char characters, okay, um, representing the trait. So we have dominant trait and of course the recessive trait. So, alamin natin mamaya guys or class kung ano ba ang kaibahan ng dominant trait sa recessive trait. Alright, so in science, of course we encounter different terms and we all know that. So why is it that we need to know first the term? Because through unlocking term or knowing the the definition or the description of each term it will give us a, a clear understanding or an overview of what we are talking here so it gave us an idea of what is this term um, describing okay something like that all right so we have some terms which I think okay first it is um, reflected in our module so those are essential terms for a student to understand better the concept of Mendelian pattern of inheritance all right let's begin with term number one all right one genes okay genes meaning say a factor or information carried by each individual organism which determines class the visible trait of an organism so take note the word visible so pag sabi mo genes visible trait ano bang katangian na talagang uh, visually nakikita for example, we have here an additional information. So, Mendel's first conclusion was that, or was this, okay, biological inheritance is determined by factors that are passed from one generation to the next and because of genes. For example, the family cat, okay, kitang kita din pag family cat, no? So, press the body, okay, have fur, the claws, so. You cannot expect that a cat can have a feature like a human. Right? So, kaiba magkaiba yung physical feature. For example, a zebra. So, may mga lines, di ba, sa katawan nila. Or, yan, we have, we have here in our picture. So, even human being, okay? So, our, our attributes, or lahat nakita natin sa ating katawan, okay, uh, visually, or the visible traits that are talking, yan po ay about genes. The factors of or information carried by each individual organism which determines okay, the visible trait of an organism. Take note the word visible, nakikita. For number two, since we're talking about genes, so we have here, I don't think about the dominant genes. So from the word it's a dominant palang, parang siya yung malakas, right? For example, pag sabing dominant, if you are dominant in the class, ko yung parang may voice, okay? Parang ikaw yung president, okay? The president could be a dominant in the class kasi he has the power, he has the authority. So, um, if we're going to relate this one in the concept of gene, so meron tang dominant gene. So, ano ba yung dominant gene? It's a gene or a factor that masks another gene indicated by a capital letter, so tall and short gene. The tall gene mask the short gene. That's the trait result of the tall trait. So, ibig sabihin, class, pagpagsamahin daw ang tall trait and short trait. So, chances are, 
mas dalamang talaga yung tall trait characteristics. Mas nakita yun sa family. For example, um, so, um, if the mother is tall, the father is not that tall as the mother. Pero pagdating sa offspring class, meron talaga yung mag-dominant na parang Um, sa mga anak, mayroon talaga matatangkad dyan. If not 100%, meron, meron matatangkad dyan. Alright. So, we also have recessive. Ang recessive naman ay kabaliktara ng dominant. So, we have, so, pag ang matapang ay dominant or talagang evident talaga na yung lalabas yan, ang ito namang recessive ay hindi gaano nagmamanifest sa katawan. Something like that. So, ito yung mga hindi gaano na emphasize. Okay. So, gene or factor that is masked by the dominant gene indicated by smaller letter or small letter. So, once we're going to have that palette square, mamaya, ay magkaroon tayo ng mga um, letter. So, yung capital letter or yung big letter natin, ayun ang nag-represent ng mga dominant trait. While the small letter representing the um, recessive trait. Again, dominant and recessive. So, pag matapang dominant at yung isa naman ay yung recessive. So, ganyan. So, sa bahay ninyo, for example, sino kaya ang dominant na parang dominant ang trait? Your kuya, your ate. Sometimes, ang gunso pa rin dominant. Natatalo yung mga kuya at ate, right? So, things like that. For number four, we have this term, allele. So, the allele class, it is a gene that are found in the same loci or homologous chromosomes. Okay, medyo malab ang term natin is homologous chromosome. The different forms of a gene. So, mamaya, I'll be giving another uh, explanation about allele para mas maintindihan. So, for example, the tall. Tall allele would be represented by capital letter T, while the short allele can be represented by small letter T. Yan, Those are allele. Okay? So, each of the traits Mendel studied was controlled by one gene. That occurred in two contrasting forms that produce different characters of each trait. So, kanya-kanya sila class na yung mga letter ni Alil na nag-represent ng, nag ng mga, mga traits. The different forms of the gene are called allele. Okay? The different forms of a gene are called allele. Claro? Alright? Ayan. So, Mendel's second conclusion is called the principle of dominance. Okay? So, nagkamot siya ng principle of dominance. First niya is, he believed that, yun na nga ang traits ay, can be passed on to uh, generation to generation in the pattern of inheritance. So, na-inherit, na mamana yan siya from generation to generation. And then the second one, uh, Mendel has this conclusion okay, about principle of dominance. I hope that you will be Um, thinking, ano bang kaibahan nitong dominance na ito sa pattern of inheritance. Okay, so I know that you have a little confusion of the terms that I made mention a while ago. That's why I need to depend. I need to um, get another um, explanation para at least mas maintindihan lalo yung concept. Okay, we have here gene. Okay, it is a sequence of DNA that encodes for certain traits. So, ayan, of course, ang ating body naman binubo ng DNA. So, familiar kayo sa DNA kasi this term um, is quite of use in some teleseries or for example, pag nawala ang bata or if you wanted to identify kung sino yung father or mother then maybe uh, commonly we've heard the word that okay, ipa-DNA testing natin yan or DNA testing. So, yun ang magiging um, deoxyribonucleic acid, something like that. So, yun ang maging proseso kasi through DNA, ayan, nagalaman niya ng ating mga trait. Okay? Kung compatible sa parent. So, tayo, parent and offspring. Okay? So, we have allele, one of two or more alternatives form of a gene, a single letter. So, okay, ka na T and small t, that those are allele. We have dominant allele. Malalaman natin yung dominant allele if it is written in capital letter. Um, yes, for example, for tall, of course, it is capital T, something like that. So, again, tandaan natin yan, pag dominant allele, it is being written in a capital letter form. Alright. 
while for the recessive the an allele whose trait is mask o natatalo siya class natatalo siya by the presence of dominant allele so lower case uh, letter such like smaller for example um sa family um parang may short lang uh, no curly hair some or may dimple something like that so hindi gano nagma manifest so maybe those are the recessive trait of the parents so, hindi siya gano nag reflect sa inyo sa mga anak or sino man okay uh, the genotype the genotype is the genetic makeup okay genotype genetic makeup of an organism so it could be a letter combination again the genetic makeup per phenotype is the physical appearance of an organism its outward physical appearance remember outward physical so kita natin yan and we have also have homozygous both alleles in a gene pair okay for the same trait example okay um both capital letter a and of course we have both smaller a so those are homozygous homozygous because same class pag parehong capital parehong capital pinagsama parehong smaller nagsama those are homozygous okay tandaan dalawang capital letter nagsama dalawang small letter nagsama so those are homozygous uh trait something like that all right Now, for the heterozygous naman, from the word hetero, so yung alil na yan na pinagsama class, may isang capital, may isang small. Okay, two alleles in a gene pair that do not code for the same trait. So, ibig sabihin class, hindi siya pwede natin interpret as one, something like that. So, maaring isang, of course, the capital letter stands for dominant trait, so it could be tall, and the small letter could be short. So, i-interpret pa natin yan. Unlike for the homozygous, maaaring basahin natin yan. Pag sabing um, dalawang capital letter, so, tall. Okay, pag dalawang small letter, you have short. Uh, okay, things like that. 